Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a really fun look, which is going to be recreating JLo's makeup look from the Met Galas, which was aired last week. I honestly think she just looked stunning in the Met Gala Awards. Um, if you guys haven't seen what she looked like, which I'm sure you guys have, and yes, I think she just looks stunning from head to toe. Her outfit was just gorgeous. I love the headpiece, the wig that she did have and her makeup was just so pretty. Her makeup artist, which is Scott Barnes, I think did an awesome job. He always does an awesome job on her. And it really consisted of purples and a really pretty glossy pinky nude lip, which I think her look, I was gonna have the most fun recreating because those are just colors I love to wear, me personally. So that's the whole reason why I wanna recreate her look. You know, I really wanted to just have fun and try to recreate the look that she did have on. And I do want to let you guys know, just keep in mind, this is not the exact makeup look that she did have on and obviously not the same products that her makeup artist did use on her. It was just like an inspiration and, you know, just trying to um, have fun and play with, you know, some makeup. And I did actually add this little headpiece just for fun. So I hope you guys enjoy as much as I did recreating this look. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Sigma Eye Base eyeshadow base primer. And then I'm gonna blend this eyeshadow base out. And I'm just using this Luxie large shader brush to blend it all out. Okay, and then we're going to go in first with the color Amethyst. I believe that's how you say it. It's from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going to be using my Sigma E40 brush to apply that on our eyelids. And just we're going to be just going back and forth motions and also using circular motions and then the next color we're going to be going in is with the color called retro from the profusion wanderlust eyeshadow palette And I'm going to be using my Sigma E38 brush and we're going to be applying this color on our crease. This is more of a darker purple. The other color we used is more like a magenta. So this color, I really want this color to show up because the purple that she had on was very purple in her eye look. So I'm going to take this a little bit higher so it could show up, even though we're going to be cutting out our crease. And then going back with our Sigma E40 brush, we're just going to be blending out the edges. So I basically just did a rounded cut crease. And after you do your cut crease and you let your concealer dry a bit, you're going to use some glitter glue to apply where you cut your crease on your lid. And I'm just using uh, Too Faced glitter glue. You could also use, if you want a more affordable option, um, they, NYX has a really good glitter glue as well. But you can use any glitter glue and you're just going to apply it where you apply your concealer. That way it sticks very well and you don't get all this crazy fallout that pigments tend to do after you apply your glitter glue you're gonna go I'm gonna be going in with this MAC pigment which is in the color Kits Kitsmas don't know how to pronounce it but yeah it's like a a very lavender like a silver lavender color and we're just gonna pack this all over our lid
And then I'm going to be going in with this Profusion makeup brush. I'm just going to just dab very softly in the color Retro from the Profusion palette. And we're just going to go with this color right above our cut crease very lightly. So you want to hold your brush towards the end. And just apply it very lightly over... over where we applied our cut crease just so we could get a little bit more of that purple okay and then going in with my sigma lash fan brush which i really love this brush for applying highlighter on our brow bone i'm gonna go in with the color illusion from the profusion palette And then we're gonna just apply this right on our brow bone. So I'm gonna be going in with some mascara right before we apply some falsies because she did have really, she had these really pretty falsies on. So you could just use, I really don't have any false lashes that look like the ones she had on the picture, but I'm gonna wear false lashes, so that's what matters. <laughs> so the lashes I'm gonna be using are the Ardell 113 Doubles. And I'm just gonna be placing my falsies off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with this color called Pink Freeze from MAC Cosmetics. So I'm just gonna be using this pointed brush and we're gonna be applying the color right in our inner corner. I was trying to find like a pinky um like an icy pink color for the inner corner this is the closest that i had in my collection and then i'm gonna go in with this luxie mini flat angled brush and i'm just gonna blend the inner corner color out so i already have my foundation concealer and powder and some bronzer on and I did notice in her picture that she has like a very bronzy peachy color to her cheek. I'm going to be using the blush called Peaches from MAC Cosmetics. And I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. I did notice in her picture that her, her blush was very, like you could tell she had, she had a lot. So, I'm just going to apply a little bit more than what I would probably apply on the regular. Okay, and then for highlighter, you can't really tell the highlight that JLo has in her picture, but I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution um, Quad in this champagne color right here. And we're just going to apply this on the high points of our cheeks. And some on our forehead. I'm also going to apply some on the bridge of my nose. And some on my chin and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Then we're going to be applying some of this e.l.f. setting spray. And then going back into the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, we're going to go in with that purple color Amethyst. And with a blending brush, I'm just going to be applying this right under our lash line. And I'm going to be using this e.l.f. angled brush and I'm going to go in into the Profusion palette and I'm going to go in with the color called Retro which was what we used earlier on our lids. We're going to apply this color as close as possible to our lash line. And then going in with our blending brush we're just going to blend those colors out. Okay, and then going in back in with the pigment that we used earlier on, this pigment, we're going to be using this 
towards our inner corner more towards this area because I did notice on the picture she had a lot of sparkle in that area of her lower lash line so I'm gonna go in with the same brush I used the pigment with and just tap off the excess and just apply it as close as possible to your lower lash line and that area right there close to your tear duct okay and I kind of want to add some glitter to the look okay so I'm gonna be using that color in smoldering satin so this has silver glitter in it so what I want to do is just place it right over where we put that pigment right close to our tear duct and just using the same brush that we did use with the pigment we're just gonna get some of that glitter eyeshadow and then we're just gonna place it right above where we put the pigment and then lastly we're just gonna apply some mascara on our lower lashes okay so for lips I'm gonna be using Lime Crimes Marshmallow Liquid Lipstick which is their Velvet Velvet Times. See, she had a pinky nude glossy lip, so hopefully this is as close as it gets to her lipstick color. So for lip gloss, I'm gonna be going in with Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Diamond Milk. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this recreation of JLo's Met Gala makeup look. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you all on my next video. Bye guys.